Welcome back. I got my water base going on him. Looks good. I think I'll set him over there with the other guys. Looks fairly dry. How you guys doing? I decided to show you something. Um, this is the super base recipe. Uh, the uh, You can do a, a more involved version of this, but I usually just do this super base recipe. And it works pretty good for me. Unfortunately, I don't have what I usually use, but I have my backup method of stuff, and so I'll show you that. Usually, I use this. Um, uh, focus. 91% isopropyl alcohol. It doesn't have to be Publix brand. It can be whatever. But 91%. If you can't find that, if all you can find is this 70 or 71% stuff, it'll still work. Now, I have these little bottles you can find these at Michael's probably Hobby Lobby they are in the um, the cake decorating they use them for sauces and stuff like that and icings and you can find this this one is about a quarter full usually it would be a third full if I was using the 91% but since I only have the 71% quarter full and the reason is the 71 is more watered down so this has a cool little squirt bottle feature which saves me from having to use a funnel. Just line it up, squeeze it, and you gotta let some air in there. And uh, yeah, this is simple as all get out. Now, if you're doing just this simple recipe, you can fill it just about to the top there, like that, and just give it a shake. And that is it right there. Simple airbrush cleaner and paint thinner it'll work with your paints now you got to make sure that you get the percentages right because too much of this alcohol will um, activate the the drying properties in this acrylic paint sorry stuff's falling off all over the place I'll operate the drying properties in the acrylic paint and it'll gum up in a second in your airbrush just poof but um, if you get the if you get the mix fairly right it's a really good thinner and it doesn't really mess with your um, paint too much and it, it it helps it not to dry out so much you can also uh, they have a, I forget the the real name for it but it's basically a paint extender that you can get for airbrush things you can add just about this much let me see if you guys can see the little top how close that is you can just, just about up to that line that much of that in there mix that in there and that will uh definitely help the paint not to dry as much and stay stay cleaner longer i use this also at, when i'm done at the end to clean out my airbrushes and i also use this you've seen me use this bottle to clean my paint brushes when i don't have my little water dish around and i'm being lazy about going to get one and water cleaning i'll just just lightly spurts them and wipe them out because it, it works pretty good for that too so yeah that's just the base recipe so if you guys are looking for a cheap way to make yourself a nice little uh, airbrush cleaner or paint thinner and you don't want to use you know layman's medium which can get expensive or the airbrush stuff from the store you can do this um, you do have to get the mix right as I say or else it will gum up your uh, your paint and you'll have to spend some time scrubbing that out of your airbrush or you uh, if it's not if it's more water than alcohol then it really is not going to be as effective as it could be at preventing the paint from drying as fast when it comes out of the airbrush but yeah there you go quick simple easy um, if you guys like this video please share it around if you like my channel subscribe to me I would love to have you uh, on the team and hey if uh, I'm not your flavor. Look down below. You'll see the people I'm subscribed to. I'm subscribed to a bunch of really cool channels. Look through there. You'll find something in your flavor. I'm sure of it. All right, guys. I will talk to you later.